What is going on everybody? It's your boy Random Epic and we are back with the most randomest, epicest NASCAR diecast reviews you're ever going to see here on the internet. And today, this Sunday, August 2019, I forget the date because I am an idiot. I thought I'd take you guys back to the old days. The days when I started watching NASCAR. The reviews that I don't do often anymore. Yeah, those days. The late 1990s, a very simple time to be a NASCAR fan. And uh, <laughs> if you were a kid during the, those days, you had the best of the best, cream de la cream, finding any of these die cast and having plenty of competition uh, in the die cast companies to find the drivers you wanted. You had a much better chance of finding all of the drivers in the stores. Uh, than just the ones like that come in waves these days, like the uh, Lionel NASCAR Authentics. Uh, it was just a great time to be a fan. Great time to get into this sport, and I wish those days desperately, desperately would come back. But uh, we all know that that's probably never going to happen. So uh, what you're looking at here is uh, Rich Bickles. It's got Greg Sachs on the door, but uh, he, him and Rich Bickle both drove this car for a time. The 1998 Thorn Apple Valley uh, Premium Meets Ford Taurus for who else? Kale Yarbrough Motorsports. Yep, this is one of Kale Yarbrough's last cars in the NASCAR Cup Series before he retired as a uh, team owner. Kale Yarbrough uh, fielded a few few uh, teams and driver combinations throughout the late 1990s. Uh, and by the end of 1999, I think he sold out and uh, finally went into full retirement. But uh, for 1998, he had, a, he had some pretty interesting cars. Um, of course, mo most everybody remembers uh, the 97 season where, Jeremy, where uh, John Andretti uh, one at Daytona in the Pepsi 400. Um, I think that's probably the most iconic uh, race for the Kale Yarborough number 98 team. And uh, I think this is uh, a deal with his dad. I think uh, his dad, Leroy Yarborough, ran the 98 throughout his career. Um, in my customs... With the custom paint schemes that I do, uh, I use the number 98 as one of my uh, main paint scheme cars. So uh, I do so much enjoy the number 98. But uh, back in 1998, this was a very underfunded team. Um, yeah, even coming from Kale Yarbrough, this was a very underfunded race team. Um, they they had to they they basically switched sponsorships every season. Uh, they had RCA, and then, of course, they switched to uh, this. I think midway through 98, they switched to, um, oh, um, well, no, I think they kept the sponsorship for one year. I think they kept uh, Thorn Apple Valley all season. I know they swapped uh, drivers, like, <laughs> they were swapping drivers all over. Uh, back then, but uh, this one's got Greg Sachs on the door, so I'm going to go with Greg Sachs. I know Rich Bickle drove this car for a time, uh, and then in 99, Rick Mast drove this car, and then uh, after 99, I think this team was sold off. So uh, let's take a closer look at this car. One of those fabulous uh, late 90s paint schemes that just still looks so great today. I wish they'd do a throwback to this car. I don't even know if Thorn Apple Valley Premium Meats is still in business or not. I don't even know if this is a local business. I've never heard of Thorn Apple Valley before this. Uh, maybe it's like more of a up north or maybe a west type of a deal, like only out that way. One thing that grabs my attention really quickly on this car is the uh, gold gradient that's on this, that's, which was always pretty cool. Um, I think this car just this car just so deserves its own throwback. Um, you know, of course, the Ford Taurus. A lot of people weren't crazy about this when it, when it first debuted in '98. Um, I, I always thought it was just so freaking cool that they included uh, the headlights and all that. And that's what I that's what I always liked about these uh, 
older racing champions diecast. I always like these. Um, I always like these uh, headlights, uh, these real looking headlights and uh, turn signals and all that. Uh, it's just a really, really cool car, and we're out of focus again. Take a look at that. There we go. Uh, so, Thornapple Valley Premium Meats. Ford Taurus number 98. You got your small contingency sponsors. I'm not going to bother reading. NASCAR 50th anniversary. That's how you know this is a 1998 edition car. All the contingencies back then on this car. Number 98. Uh, DuPont. Mac Tools. And a bunch of other ones. I'm not going to read. The iconic number 98. Thorn Apple Valley Premium Meats. Some more contingencies. I'm not going to bother reading because I do not have the best of eyesight. Thorn Apple Valley Premium Meats on the deck lid and then of course Thorn Apple Valley on back here. NASCAR 50th and the number 98 on this side and this side basically the same and you can see where they continued the gradient going down the side here uh, basically just the same as, as this and then here is the top we're coming out of focus again come on focus 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 see what that did yep there we go I don't know why this thing wants to go out of focus but uh, anyway you see a lot of these gold lines uh, in this paint scheme very very nice I really enjoyed um, this car when it first came out I used to have a huge poster of it um, and then of course 1999 this this sponsorship went away and uh, they had Sonic drive-ins was a, was a sponsor for a short time and then of course the Woody the Woodpecker Universal Studios uh, came aboard this car for uh, the remainder of 99 uh, and then after that I believe this team was sold the 98 wasn't used uh, again for a very long time in the sport until uh, I think the infamous Dogecoin car a few years ago but uh yeah, the number 98 is very cool. I, I always like using it on my customs when I make custom paint schemes. So uh, it is very neat to have a um, a number 98 actual car. Probably one of the only ones I've got because, uh, again, they didn't have 98 in NASCAR for a very long time after this. Um, I've got the RCA car that Andretti drove and even Jeremy Mayfield's RCA car. Uh, I would really like to find the older 98s, like the um, like the Bojangles, I believe it is, and the Finger Hut car that Derek Cope drove. I'd really like to find that. That'd be pretty cool. But uh, it's the 1998 NASCAR 50th anniversary Thorn Apple Valley Premium Meets Ford Taurus. Greg Sachs drove this car for Kale Yarborough Motorsports. Thank you guys for watching. If you've seen anything or want me to review anything, please leave it down in the comment section below. I am always eager, willing, and able to review these cars. And uh, I'm always trying to uh, think of the next one to review for you guys. I'm, I, I just, I've got so much stuff I need to review that I want to review, but, I, you know, whatever. So, uh, it is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.